Hello, my name is Ade and welcome to a tutorial for RPG All-in-One. In this video, we'll be covering how to create some skills. So we're going to work on a fireball, a projectile skill this time. So we're going to go to combat skills and add a new one. So this one we've created is a projectile skill. Perfect for like fireballs and such. So we're going to call this one fireball. We're going to call this mega fireball, why not? So you want to give it a nice icon. So maybe this like fiery looking one here. Maybe red file, or maybe in fact blue file. So you want to have a minimum cast range and a maximum cast range. So perhaps you want to say if the target is too close, then you can't attack them. So maybe they need to be at least two units away from you and a maximum of 10 units away. Then of course you want to use a resource on cast or perhaps it doesn't. So we can use health, mana, rage, energy. In this case, we're going to use mana. Uh, we can assign a skill method to it, so perhaps certain um, characters, certain AI is immune to it, which we can assign just to show off real quick um, skill methods here. If we just add a new one, perhaps we have skill method of fire. And we can go back to our fireball skill and just give it a skill method of fire. So maybe certain enemies are immune to fire. Uh, we can automatically unlock the skill for the player when he, once he reaches a certain level. So maybe once he reaches level 5, we can unlock it for him. We can choose who it targets. So healing spells, for example, typically target yourself or an ally. Whereas a fireball skill, you pretty much just want to target the enemy. You don't want to be dealing damage to your allies. But you could if you wanted to. So you can say not self. Or you could say ally. But in this case, we're going to keep it to um, enemy. We can also choose how you upgrade it. So maybe you need to reach a certain level to upgrade it. Maybe you need to reach a certain trait level to upgrade it. Or perhaps you just need to upgrade it with certain skill points. We can also apply buffs or debuffs, which unlocks a few options below. And we can also make an enemy only skill, so only enemies can use this skill, which is quite useful if you don't want the skill to show up in the skill book. Uh, we can also choose which classes have access to this skill. So perhaps only the Warlord has access to the, fi uh, to the Mega Viable, or maybe all of the classes do. We then have three different prefabs here. So we have a casting prefab. So the casting, casting in regards to skills um, relates to when the player is actually preparing to use the skill. So for example, a fireball might have the player place his hand in the air, channeling some mystical energy until he then actually casts the skill, at which point the fireball emanates from his hand and flies towards the target. So the casting re would refer to his hand in the air, the cast would refer to him actually throwing the fireball out, and the skill prefab is the actual fireball itself. So similar to in our status effect video, we can generate a prefab such as this cyclone one here. So perhaps you want this cyclone to be spinning around him as he's casting it. As he then casts the prefab, perhaps you want this Big Bang um, particle effect to play. And then the skill prefab is unique to the actual skill. So let's generate the skill prefab. So here we go. So again, it's empty, but it has the right scripts on it, projectile skill handler. So let's move this into the distance a bit. So this circle here represents um, where it's going to actually collide with a target. So what we want to do is we want to get some kind of effect for this fireball. So I think we have one here called fire two. So there we go. Or maybe we want to use fire one. Again, you can choose whichever one you use. So we're going to use fire two, make it a child of the skill prefab, make sure to reset its position. So it's in the center like so. And now when we cast this fireball, this effect will move across the screen until obviously it hits the player or target and we want to make sure we hit apply to save those changes and make sure no scripts are on this that would remove it too soon so that's the skill prefab set up we can also open and do some custom damage scaling but we'll cover that in another video so now we have a bunch of options down here so we have the cast sound which again as we mentioned above here is when he actually throws a fireball out we have the travel sound, which is the sound the fireball itself makes as it's traveling towards its target. And we also have the casting sound, which will be played 
as he's placing his hand in the air, channeling the mystical energies. We then have an impact sound when the fireball actually hits its target. Uh, we can make an impact prefab, which again will be a short-lived prefab similar to this Big Bang one, just like some kind of effect that plays once it hits. And then we have some more options here. So we can add a resource on cast. So maybe every time we cast this fireball, we gain some rage. And, and you can see here, it's not actually telling you the values it's going to add because we define those slightly further down, which I'll get to in a moment. We can also use an event on cast. We can require your health, for example, to be above a certain value. So maybe your health needs to be above 50% to use this skill, or maybe it needs to be below 50%. Uh, we can require you to have a certain weapon equipped, so maybe you need a two-handed axe to do this skill. And maybe you need to have casted a similar skill previously before you can use this one. So maybe you have five seconds to combo it. And then of course we can add some required skills that you need to unlock this one. And so maybe we require you to unlock the fireball skill before you can unlock the mega fireball. So here now we actually define the way the skill behaves. So every skill has a multiple, has a number of ranks, and you can define these ranks yourself. So this fireball skill right now only has one rank, but we can add a couple more to it. So we're gonna add, we're gonna have three ranks for this skill, but it's best to first define your first rank and then add the new ones. So let's go through the rank details. So first of all, we need skill points to level. So let's say you need 200 skill points to level the skill. Um, and now it says resource required to cast. So that's referring to the resource up here. So mana. So how much mana do we need to cast this spell? So we're going to say you need 50 mana. We're going to give it a cooldown of 5 seconds at rank 1. We're going to say... And now we have to define how the casting works. So there's a total cast time. And there's a casting time. So again as we discussed, you place your hand in the air to channel the mystical energies. You then do the casting animation where you push your hand forward to throw the fireball out. So maybe we want the casting to take 3 seconds. So your hand will be in the air for 3 seconds and your hand will then move outwards for 2 seconds. But typically your, the hand moving out, the actual cast animation will be quite short, so maybe 4 seconds. So that might seem a bit confusing but essentially the casting is your hand in the air for 3 seconds and then it will take the player 1 second to then cast the fireball. We can then find how much damage it does and we'll quickly just add a new damage type which we'll explain in more detail in another video but if we add a new damage type here we'll call it fire we can then go back to our skill make it do zero physical damage but do 55 damage to 105 damage and we can make it do bonus taunt so maybe every time you cast this it will do an additional 100 so that means it's more likely to get aggro if you're if you've enabled NPC fighting etc uh, we can choose a projectile speed so this will be a quite a fast one maybe 10 and it'll fly for at least three seconds after three seconds it'll then be destroyed and we'll say it can even pierce through enemies so if they're lined up it can hit up to three enemies the first one will do max damage the second one will do 70% and the third enemy it hits will only do 25% so up here we said that um, we'll add a resource on cast, Rage. So here we're going to define how much we're adding. So we're going to add 25. And we also said the vital needs to be above a certain percentage before we can cast this. So we're going to say you need to be above 80% health. Oops, to 0 0.8. And then we have some more options again. We can apply damage over time on hit. So again, we have the active, unactivate, damage tick, and unexpired. So all of these are covered in the status effect video, but damage tick isn't. So damage tick is essentially every time the damage hits, it will show this kind of impact prefab. That's essentially what it is. It's an impact prefab for the damage over time damage. Uh, so we can give this a name, fireball burning, hits every 0 0.1 seconds. So 10 times a second, last one second has a 100% chance to apply and it'll just do 5 damage each tick which would be a total of 50 damage in the 1 second. We can also add a proc if it hits something it will knock them back a 1. We can also apply a status effect of burning and just make it a 10% chance. 
and now we've literally defined everything there's one more thing i'll do before we cover more ranks and the description uh, we can define our cast animation so if we go to our warlord we'll grab one of his animations so we'll grab the attack and for spartan king it's attack with a lowercase a so we'll put that And also we want a casting animation. So for a warlord we can use the well, we use the idle animation, that'll be fine. And for the Spartan King we can use idle battle. Obviously if you have more animations then you can make it look fancier. Like so. And so now we can add a description. So this skill does quite a lot actually as you can see but we're just gonna cover um, the damage it deals and we'll actually cover the uh, status effect so we'll say deals um, 50 to 100 was it okay so 50 to 100 fire damage with a 10% chance to apply burning now that's how our tooltip is gonna look and obviously that looks quite boring it's just all white text so we can actually use um, Unity's rich text. So we can say color equals red. And just end that tag. And now we can have some nice red text for the fire damage. And obviously we can change the percent chance of applying this. So let's make that value also have a unique color. Uh, just add the brighter blue, I think it's cyan. And again, this is a status effect, so maybe you want to add a color to that one. There we go. So that's rank one. So now what we can do is we can add a new rank. So now we're on rank two. Skill rank two of two. So we'll make it take 500 points to level this time. And we'll say it requires a bit more mana to cast. And we'll say it has a lower cooldown. And rather than do 50 to 100 damage, it'll do 100 to 200 damage this time around. And even the piercing might get a bit better. Uh, might add a bit more resource. The damage over time might do way more damage than before. Might knock them back two units. And I might have a 50% chance of applying burning. So now we want to update the description and tooltip to reflect that. So our damage is now 100 to 200. So let's change that first. Uh, it's no longer a 10% chance, now 50% chance, and it still applies burning. But for example, for the sake of demoing, we could duplicate this um, burning status effect. We could call it severe burning, and we could change the physical damage per tick, which should be actually fire damage. We could change it to 10 to 15, and then we can go to our skill making sure we're on rank 2 and instead of applying burning we can apply severe burning which sounds quite brutal actually and there we go it now says 100 to 200 fire damage with a 50% chance to apply severe burning and obviously you can add as many ranks as you want but we're gonna stick to 2 so rank 1 has those values with this tooltip However, rank 2 obviously does a lot more and applies severe burning. And then obviously your player can level up their fireball, their mega fireball skill from level 1 to 2. And of course they'll see the difference because they'll be doing way more damage. And they can also see exactly what's changed. So that's how you set up skills, in particular a projectile skill. We'll cover the other skills and their unique qualities in another video. If you'd like more information on RPG All-in-One, check out the tutorials and other videos in the playlist linked below and have a wonderful day.